What's up guys? Today we are going to do a review on the Speedlink Ferris Gaming Keyboard. Let's check it out. So we have the standard packaging. There's definitely nothing special about this. This was only $12.99 plus tax, of course, but seriously, $13 for a keyboard, that's pretty good, but I guess I can also be pretty skeptical. Um, obviously, it's apparently just made for Windows. I don't see anything on here about Mac, but um, I doubt that you would have any trouble trying to um, play on play on a Mac or anything like that because it says driverless so I guess I have I have no idea but let's see what's on the back so apparently we can have the put the additional keys on and turn the whole and turn those red but otherwise they'd be black and it doesn't have anything like a built-in USB hub though, which I really like. Um, that keyboard right there is the, oh what is that, the Corsair Strafe RGB. It has the silent keys, but I really like that one and it has one USB port on the back so I can put a Bluetooth device or a Bluetooth dongle thing in there and and all that so Well, not a whole lot going on with that. We'll plug it in to see what's going on. See, we have a bag of those keys. Uh, oh, a, a key key. I'll take them off the uh, board. These feel really cheap though. Like really cheap. Like I'm almost wanting to see, wow, that's, that is thin and I'm dropping things. Let's see, let's check this keyboard. Pretty thin cable right there. Standard USB, pretty pretty thin, solid construction. I mean, it's thirteen bucks. I like the feel of those keys, though. They kind of feel membraney a little bit, but. Yeah, that's that's definitely a membrane keyboard. I mean it I guess it does have a little more snap back to it, which I kinda like. But, uh, before mechanical came back, I remember some of the keyboards I used to play on definitely felt like this. Um, so yeah, that that's definitely okay I guess for a cheaper keyboard. What we got up top here? Um, something I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Home, email, play, pause, stop. 
Oh, forward, back, volume buttons, and mute. I do like those. I do like having a mute button or at least some volume buttons or something like that. That's always nice. Well, let me plug this thing in and see what we got going on. I guess it didn't have to install anything, did it? Let's see. What do we have? Let's type some words in Word. Let's see. You know, it doesn't feel too bad. After, after working on a mechanical for a while, it definitely uh, feels a bit different. Uh, Windows key, standard, all of these. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Oh, it has the little tilts on them. You know, I, I guess it's okay. The thing is... I guess what I'm getting at is I wonder how fatigued my fingers would be after using this because from the difference that I see or, or feel and, and just kind of how it reacts, I think my fingers may get a little fatigued from this. So I don't know. For somebody who hasn't worked on a mechanical before, for someone who hasn't done any um, gaming on anything but a membrane keyboard, um, I don't know if they would know the difference, which is definitely nice, but I don't know if I could go back from, you know, if I broke my Corsair, for some reason, I think I would shell out the money again to get another one. I mean, it just, I don't know. There's nothing like a good mechanical keyboard. And I know I'm, on, I'm trying to compare a $13 keyboard to a $140 keyboard or whatever those are. I guess... If I didn't know any better and I needed my first gaming keyboard, you know, I might be okay with this if I'd never gone to a mechanical in the first place. Um, I don't think I would have known the difference, and that's absolutely fine. I mean, uh, that that fits some people very well. I mean, they come off kind of easy, kind of not, obviously. You heard me trashing this thing already for some reason. Um, but... You know, it might not be too bad. I think what I'll do is I am going to game on it a little bit. And I'm thinking I will come back with a report because I don't know what this is going to feel like. But I just wanted to give my opinion and my expectations before I do some gaming on this. I may also um, use it for working tomorrow and see see how a day worth of work is as well. I mean, there there might be a couple different situations. You know, gaming is one thing, but maybe working all day on the keyboard that I'm not really used to. Um, I guess I have a membrane one at work, so I guess it may not actually be any different, but that's okay. Um, oh, apparently I was just reading the little instructions that first function button right there says computer I wonder if that's my computer oh it totally is let's see if I can aim this up yeah it just kind of pops up so that is actually kind of cool 
I wonder if I would just have to macro one of those or just change the key binding on the Corsair to do something like that. But I don't know which one I would want to replace. I don't know. But that is kind of cool. I go searching for the My Computer all the time, and I know um, I have it down here. But, you know, sometimes it's not the same. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this and uh, see what happens. Okay, so let's try some arms race. You guys can watch me um, completely suck at it. But um, let's see what happens. I'm going to play the uh, with the new keyboard a little bit and let's see what's going on. One thing I did notice is the keys have like that temporary tattoo stuff uh, for the letters and all that. It's uh, it's kind of weird. I can guarantee that this would wear off pretty quickly um, if you use this all the time. So let's see. Uh, okay. Oh, of course. I don't think I could actually recommend this keyboard to anyone. I I don't know what I expected for $13, but it definitely wasn't this. The only reason I know that is because on the other computer in this very room, there is a $12 or even an $11 keyboard uh, by a company called ProHT. And that one actually has a really good feel to it. It does feel a little more mechanical, even though it is a membrane um, keyboard, but it just feels a lot better. This one also has uh, a very bad um, idea, I think, on any keyboard. This is just terrible. The short backspace key. I'm not really sure why they do that, but I was hitting this key the whole time. I was trying to uh, do a full day of work. I almost made it through the day on that keyboard. I would never ever hook this thing up to uh, try to be productive again. Uh, when I was gaming it was okay, but there was definitely something missing. I Like I said, I would actually rather play on the Pro HT than I would on the Speedlink Ferris Gaming Keyboard. So um, I can't give this one um, any sort of recommendation and I wanted to share that with everybody who's watching. Uh, thank you for watching guys. If this sucked, you know what to do. If you like this, get subscribed, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.